Hello everyone, welcome to Pro Arm Strings. I'm Henriette and in this clinic today we have a question from a gentleman called Matt who lives in England and he has a question about the pinky on the bow, so the right hand pinky for violinists. Let's hear from Matt and see what his question is. I just had a question on how to increase my flexibility and strength in the pinky finger. Before I go ahead and answer Matt's question, I'd just like to say that if you want to feature in a future violin clinic, all you have to do is send me your video, and your video you can just record on your phone, it's very easy to do. It shouldn't be any longer than one minute, and all you have to do is ask your question, and of course you need to be happy for me to include your video in a future video which will stay on this YouTube channel. So Matt was asking the question how you can create more strength in your little finger on your bow. Now it's very important that you've got a strong little finger on your bow, particularly when you play at the heel of the bow. And I'm playing at the heel of the bow and I want to make my bowing a little bit lighter. I can press on my little finger here and it will lever this end of the bow up. And that is why having a strong little finger is so important in good violin playing. It helps all your string crossings at the heel and generally you're playing at the heel of the bow. Now strength in your little finger and in your bow hand fingers comes with experience. So if you have just yesterday started to play the violin, it is very difficult to do this exercise. But maybe the exercises that you can do that I'm going to give you in this video are going to help you be a bit stronger in your right hand and it will help you progress on your violin. Now first of all I'd like you to double check your bow hold and Matt this is one for you as well you might try to improve on your bow hold generally so that you've got a good shape here. Now the first and most important thing of a good bow hold is that I've got a little ring between my thumb and my middle finger and my thumb is bent underneath the bow. So I'm touching the bow with the tip of my thumb and my thumb is placed right here. So some people think, and I do admit it cries out for having a thumb there, but actually your thumb should be there. So not here, but there instead. So this, this circle here between your thumb and your middle finger holds the bow and it stops it from falling on the floor. Now the other fingers are used for steering the bow and as I said, your pinky, when I push my pinky down, it presses the point of the bow up. And this is one exercise that you can do, is just see if you can do some seesawing on the tip of your thumb here. Push your index finger down, now push your little finger down. Index finger down, little finger down. Now for beginners this is almost an impossible exercise and I can clearly remember when my teacher asked me to do this and I have no idea how to control my finger. So I can totally understand if this is tricky for you. In that case, let's make it a little bit lighter and let's get a, a pencil. And I'm holding my pencil just as if I have my, my bow. So my thumb and my middle finger are opposite one another. My thumb is bent and I'm just going to wriggle it like that. That will be a whole lot easier, won't it? Now, now I'm gently going to do some kayaking. Look, I pretend that I'm going like this, I'm kayaking forwards. And this is a super exercise for beginners, but also for intermediate players and for advanced players as well to get some flexibility because if your fingers are strong, they can be more flexible as well. There's this, always this link between strength and flexibility. So if you're beginning to become familiar with the forward kayaking, now let's try and do some backwards kayaking. And that is more difficult to control, isn't it? So forwards kayaking, backwards kayaking. Now then you've got the ultimate control if you can do that. Let's just practice some more up and down movement here. Really good. Now at the same time we want to practice flexibility in our wrist. So if we want to get strength and flexibility in our fingers, these are the smaller muscle groups aren't they? 
we need to, in order to relax our smaller muscles, start relaxing our mu bigger muscles. Let's start thinking about your shoulder. Let's drop your shoulder down. Lower your elbow and your upper arm. So be careful that you're not like this and really tight. Drop it all down and relax it. Soften your forearm. Soften your wrist. We're not squeezing that bow. We're having it really soft. Now let's see if you can do some soft waves. And this arm, I'm having a very soft upper arm, a very soft forearm, a very soft wrist, and very soft fingers. And you might even sort of wave your fingers along as well. And that is a useful exercise too. So I'm really doing this sort of clawing motion with my bow hand. And all these exercises add up to give you more control. Let's do some windscreen wipers now. lovely stuff and one final one which helps with coordination of your fingers is to go and do some crab crawling as i call it and we're going to get all the way up to the point and then when you feel ready go all the way back to the heel of the bow and when you've got more strength and more flexibility in your little finger you'll find this gradually becoming easier so please don't despair if you find this very, very challenging when you first practice it. Give it a go for about two weeks or so. And then you suddenly realise, oh, did I just actually flex my little finger? There we go. Let's just, for the sake of completeness in, the, in this video, uh, double check that your middle two fingers are together and you've got a finger with space here and a finger with space there. And let's also check that your little finger is leaning against the side of the bow. So it's not actually standing on top, but it's from the side. It's leaning sideways. And it's also not on the metal. I see this quite a lot. So you want to see if you can come away from the metal and move your fingers over slightly towards the point of the bow. It's a bit more. Wonderful. And with that you have just added a little bit more technique to your playing. So really, really well done. So I'm looking forward to receiving your video if you've got a question. Use the link earlier on in this video or you can also find a link to my email in the description below this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.